Hello everyone, welcome to Techball with I'm Jay Deshi Muradi. Today I will explain how you can utilize the chat GPT extension with your Visual Studio Code Editor. So if you are new in our channel, then first please subscribe our channel for this type of informative video in the Microsoft technology. Okay. Regarding this chat GPT extension, I already have created a video. Uh, so uh, that video is related to how you can utilize the, this extension with uh, the Visual Studio 2022 or any other version as well. Okay. So you can go and check out if you are using the VS ID, okay, Visual Studio ID. Currently, I am showing this type of activity with the Visual Studio Code Editor in this session. So, the required reference link I will add in the description so you can go and check out first, okay. Let's go on the another slide. So, it is just a minimal prerequisite. So, I mean, you must have the chat uh, VS Code Editor to reinstall in your system. I already have added a URL. Uh, I mean, you can go and easily install whatever. Uh, a window you have according to that okay so now once you have installed the vs code editor then you will have uh, to add the chat gpt extension with that editor that it's uh, in terms of prerequisite then you will go and see what i am doing so currently i will go and search the visual studio code that is already installed in my system so i will not do this type of activity like installation and all so here uh, I mean, here I have already created a demo project, so I will show the everything over there. So it is called the VS Code Demo. If you want to know about how you can write your first uh, program uh, and console application in VS Code, then I already have created a I mean, video. I will add that video as well in the description, so you can go and check out that video as well to understand. So I already have created this folder, I mean project folder. Just I will show you regarding the chat gpt extension in today's session okay so here once you will have click on this extension so here i have already these two extensions i mean c sharp is just for c sharp learning and chat gpt for uh, uh, using the functionality of chat gpt okay so here once you will click on chat gpt so i mean you have a lot of extensions available in the uh, marketplace so currently as per my understanding I have selected uh, I mean this uh, Zuni AI so basically uh, it has a five star rating and more download is I mean looking uh, uh, at least one lakhs of download is uh, there that's why I have selected this GPT extension otherwise you can select anyone else because I mean almost all are same in terms of uh, conversation and writing the code as well okay so now uh, when I have clicked on the chat GPT extension uh, that I have already installed so here I have uh, you can see uh, it is showing the option like uninstall so because I have already installed so it is showing the uninstall but in your case if you are using the first time then it will be uh, so like install you will click on the install button to install it okay it's a very easy step and I mean a very less uh, time consuming uh, activity it is. Let's come on uh, the point. I mean how I can utilize the chat GPT extension to write our code. Okay. So here you have something to understand. So here you have uh, this plus icon that is indicate that if you have if you want to start the new conversation then you can click on this plus icon. So here you have two options. The first one is try editor. Uh, try editor view and show conversation so i mean uh, currently we are in conversation mode i mean whatever question i want uh, from the chat gpt uh, so i i can write here and click on this send button it will provide the answers that answers you can copy and paste in your editor window and you can run or you have the another option called uh, try the editor view so i'm i will create i will use the both view for your understanding okay so one another and very important thing to be key, uh, I mean to consider in your mind is once you will add that extension then first of all you need a chat a open AI API key that you need to create uh, uh, from the open AI web applications okay so for I mean creation of API key I already have created a video I will add that video in the video description so you can go and check out that video to create the API key once you will create that api key then you have an option called change api key once you will click on that change api key you will have an option and uh, uh, there you can just go and put 
uh, whatever API key you have created on the open key. AI website okay i mean this is a very easy uh two to five minute step uh, to create the open ai key and use it okay so now we'll start with uh conversation mode so here i will write uh, a question write a program write a program to print triangle pattern with the star mark okay so my question is write a program to print a triangle pattern i mean this is a very basic program just for understanding with the star mark so i mean chat gpt is starting okay uh, looks i haven't uh, used the c sharp keyword anywhere so currently i would like to uh, i would like this program in the c sharp so from here you will go and put this question again and write a c sharp program because i need this program in c sharp so i need to give the instruction to the chat gpt now chat gpt will answering us i mean the all things are doing by chat gpt we are just showing okay so because this is a conversation mode so in the conversation mode uh whatever question you will ask it will provide you and you just have to copy and paste in your editor window okay but uh i mean in another view like uh, editor view uh, the same code will be directly uh posted in whatever window or whatever class is opening here okay or it will create a new class uh, i mean just you have to monitor this okay so i mean i i also uh, will show you how you, you have to do it okay so in this in this case i already have a program class so i will just copy this method internal method main method okay and we'll go and paste here okay so i have pasted here I will go and save it. I already have saved it. Now I need to run this commands. Okay, so here I will go and open the terminal window. Here I will go and uh, first of all I need to build a .NET. So I will click on .NET build. Okay, so build is in progress. I mean, it is giving some warning. I mean, because of this, I think it is the parsing, something called parsing related uh, uh, warning. So currently there is no any issue. So please ignore it. Uh, I mean, we will just go to check the functionality of uh, chat GPT instead of uh, thinking the code and all. So here I will go and run. I mean, I have pressed the run. So enter. The number of rows so here i will enter uh, 10 okay so here you can see the triangle is printed triangle is printed as a output so this this is the way of uh, i mean writing code using conversation panel another panel is i mean you will just go and click on try with editor mode okay so i i mean uh, the another was try with editor mode so here in this case i will just go and clean our terminal clear the terminal is clear right now i will ask here to chat gpt write a program write a program to find factorial okay and here i need to give instruction like in which language so i need it in c sharp language write a c sharp program to find factorial numbers so just i will go and 
ask i will click on ask so here you can see uh, uh, automatically it has posted their answer in the editor window with a different names i mean, I mean different class names so here you will go and change i mean control s and here you can go and change the different class name but in my case uh, currently globally i am using uh, this main that is a default main so it will uh, i mean if i will go and execute this program then it will uh, show an error because the entry point is some different so i will just copy and paste the same code just for your understanding here in the same program class that i already have created so it is not required to do it here i will just go and build again i will click on dotnet build so the process is going on building process is going on and here i will go and click on run build is succeeded now i will click on run so the running process is going on here i will enter the five so answer should be because currently we are finding the uh, factorial so the answer should be 120 okay no okay okay uh, i mean i haven't saved our code that's why it is showing the previous output again uh, i have now here you can see i have already saved right now i will go again and build our code okay so the again that warning the warning uh, related to code i mean uh, there is some int or something is using that's why so i will go here and run again so in this time it will ask us a number to in input so here i will input five okay and here you can see the answer is factorial factorial uh, of five is 120 it means uh, from the both pay we can use uh, the chat gpt extension with our visual studio code and not only ch i mean chat gpt extension if not only uh, the programming if you want uh, to follow the best coding practices then we have different things like we can add the test from here i mean you will click on uh, for particular code uh, i mean you have this particular code and you will select it and click on add test find problems optimize explain add comments and the, i mean complete code so these types of uh, internal uh, short codes are available for example i i need to add a comment over i mean uh, in genetic i'm uh, showing you so for a specific part of code you will just need to select and then click on add comment then comment will be added over there but currently uh, i'm showing as example that uh, when you have clicked on add comment so here you can see the comment is added and everything is going fine so i mean uh, our intention to show how you can utilize the chat gpt extension with your again uh, one thing again if you want to go in your home screen then here you will click and here you will have uh, i mean you will on the uh, conversation mode and from here you can go and uh, click then you will be on the editor mode another thing is uh, here is identification that uh, what changes or upgrade is there with this particular extension and all okay so that's all related to uh, this extension uses with visual studio code i mean if you feel uh, this video looks helpful to you then please subscribe our channel for this type of updated video and uh, do not forget to hit the bell icon for uh, uh, the updated notification and like uh, for sharing with your friend as well so thank you thank you for watching